Well, I think um, as we were talking uh, earlier, I'm, I'm always from quite a young age was very interested in, in medicine and uh, did want to pursue a career in medicine. Uh, but on the other hand, because of various things that happened in my life, uh, moving schools and so on, I ended up in, in pharmacy and I, I was incredibly lucky. I can't say how incredibly lucky I was to go to the School of Pharmacy in the University of London, which at the time was considered uh, to be the best um, pharmacy school in, in the world. And it was called The Square. Often you saw in papers, The Square, that was enough to say where it came from. Um, and there we had a, an incredible pharmacology department that uh, uh, was very medically orientated. We, our pharmacology was taught on the basis of how drugs worked in patients. Um, but it was also very mechanistic because uh, we had uh, Bowman, Rand and West there, three very, very famous pharmacologists, and I'm indebted to them for really inspiring me to do that, uh, to do the, carry on, you know, pursuing a, a career in, in, in pharmacology. But it, to me, it was still medicine because, um, because of this fact that pharmacologists find drugs that uh, make people better um, and improve their lives radically, even save lives. Um, interestingly, at the time when I was there, I went, I went to the School of Pharmacy in 1965, I joined them, and we were being taught very much about iatrogenic diseases, where you know people were ending up in hospital because doctors had prescribed the wrong drug or the wrong dose or whatever. And, uh, and this again made me very aware that people need to understand how drugs worked. And later on, it became very obvious to me that if you know how they work, you can make even better drugs. And that's really what I pursued in the whole of my, my working life. Well, you know, I, <clears throat> I was very lucky that uh, when I left the School of Pharmacy, um, I went to do a PhD at St. Mary's Hospital Medical School. And I was very lucky because uh, Professor Richard Creese uh, had actually gone to the square and asked if they could have uh, one of their good pharmacology students to come and do a PhD with him because he was very interested in dose response curves and, and the more mathematical side of, um, of, of pharmacology. And the great benefit for me was not just working with him, but I learned some electrophysiology, but I also uh, had to do teaching as a demonstrator. And I learned a massive amount of medical physiology teaching uh, medical students, which was very inspiring. And uh, again, we even uh, injected the students with drugs and saw drug effects in vivo in a, in a live human being. And that, uh, I thought, was tremendous. And then I was lucky enough to be invited to become a lecturer in the medical school in physiology. But um, I decided that wasn't a very good career end, if that was where I was going to end, because um, I really felt I wanted to discover a drug. I really had that, that passion.